also another big event happening happening very very soon is the us to community uh, the event i think that's basically been founded by maron and a few other people out there in amsterdam they do some really cool parties on sundays they've been running for a while they do them in you know other places also but um mostly they're kind of known for sort of like spearheading that amsterdam scene especially this new wave of people and they've also been kind of i think basically responsible for the Rene Wise hype as well, right? Because a lot of people kind of found out about Rene Wise through his association with Esther Camino. So they have an event happening in Amsterdam very, very soon, Sunday on the December 10th. Um, it says here if you have a caption on their Instagram, we're back with a final round of this year. So it'll be fucking, it's going to be a barnstorm, right? The final rave before the end of the year at a place called Levin Slang in Amsterdam, Sunday, the 10th of December from 12 p.m. until the end. Consistent with our tradition, the lineup remains unannounced. I love that one intimate dance floor a judgment-free atmosphere where the primary focus is on the music and if you've listened to that fucking podcast channel that i've absolutely love called um that's techno team you would have known that one of their co-hosts now at the moment who's temporarily doing it for a while she's been really good i forgot her name it kind of escapes me now but she's also involved with the s community um and she's obviously speaking she speaks very well about the reasons behind the fucking rave and what they do it for and the ethos and stuff and it's really kind of you know inspiring to hear her speak about it because like i said being a former promoter myself and now becoming a DJ you kind of understand you know it kind of make, it kind of reinvigorates you to kind of put on raves again and put on fucking events but I would love to see this from my own eyes if anything this might be a good place to go um, instead of going Burkhan actually for the 19th birthday party because it's on a Sunday it's one day I could probably fly there in the evening Amsterdam to London Amsterdam, I think it's one hour and I don't probably I probably wouldn't even need your accommodation so I might actually go do that to be fair I'm not I'm not I'm not even lying I'm actually going to look at some tickets and see what happens with the flights so I'm actually going to see if I can fly out on a Sunday, maybe even just get like a, a bed for the for the for the following oh no for the night for the morning for whatever whenever I leave in the morning, right? Because I'm sure there'll be an after party and then probably sleep and then go home afterwards. I think that might be a kind of fucking good option going forward. So as the community happening very soon, again, one of my favorite parties um happening at the moment from the vibes and what I've seen online. They've got a really good social media also that kind of gives you a kind of handle on what they're kind of doing and shit. <laughs> definitely check that out in terms of what they're doing and again if you're looking for a space to go to again you know with um cool interesting djs um a really forward thinking you know lineups and shit as you can see look at this lineup like Rene wise maron um blasher and alat hitman playing like hit and play sorry another one here you see stephanie sykes flints amori playing as well what's that sign says there's no better moment than just being in the moment please no photos or videos on the dance floor if the music is good you dance exactly love that again idea on the sound good sound systems tuning it all in properly good vibes everyone they're having a good time you cannot deny it again Rene Wise the absolute G there as well doing his thing so cannot wait to see what they have going forward cannot wait to see what they have going forward <laughs> 